So hi guys, welcome again to today's lesson as we're going to be checking addition and subtraction of complex numbers. Now, let's check a complex number. So given, you can say, therefore given, given Z1 equals to A plus uh, JB, then Z2 equals to C plus JD. So we have uh, those two complex numbers. Therefore, in addition we shall have Z1 plus Z2 will be given by you are going to add the real part together and the imaginary part together. So you take the real part here which is A and you have your real part here is what? Is C. So you shall have A plus C. Those are your real parts. So this part and this part. Then which letters represent our imaginary part? So we have our B and we have our D. Therefore, we shall have the J outside, all right? Then we have uh, B plus D. So that is your Z1 plus Z2. What about the subtraction? The subtraction also happen in the same, same way. So Z1 minus Z2, again, subtract the real parts. We shall have A minus C, then plus we have a J. So you remember you have a positive here, then subtract whatever you have in the imaginary part. So B minus D. And if you check the last lesson uh, in the introduction to complex numbers, we say uh, Z1 minus Z2 can also be written. Remember, we say and B that Z1 minus Z2 can also be written as minus Z2 can also. Okay? Be written as Z1 plus the negative of Z what? Z, Z2. So we are saying you can take the values of Z2 and negate them, then you just put a positive, a positive sign before them. So therefore, this is the addition and subtraction of complex numbers. So let us take an example and see how this is done. So you're given that Z1 equals to 3 plus J4 and Z2 is given by 6 minus uh, J2. So determine Z1 plus Z2 and Z2 minus Z, uh, Z1. So the solution. So we have our values of Z1 and we have our complex number Z2. So we say that Z1 plus Z2 will be given by add the real parts and also add the imaginary part. So what is our real part here? Our real part is 3. Our real part here is what? It's 6. So we shall have 3 plus 6 then into bracket, then you have plus, then you put your J, then add the imaginary part. So we shall have 4, then plus, then what value do we have here? Negative of what? Negative of 2, then we can close that bracket. So it is 4 plus, our value here is negative 2, all right? It is not 2, it is a negative of negative of 2. So we shall have 3 plus 6 gives you what? Gives you 9, then plus. Now what is our value? 4 plus minus 2. That is just the same as saying 4 minus 2, which gives you what? 4 minus 2 gives you 2. So therefore, we shall have J2. So that is our Z1 plus Z2. Now, let's check Z2 minus Z1. Z2 minus Z1. This will be given again by subtract the real parts and subtract the imaginary parts. So now remember, it is Z2, we are subtracting our value Z1, alright? So if we can just, um, so we have this value and these values. So uh, what is our real part in Z2? So it is 6, which is sub uh, subtract what? 3. So we shall have 6 minus 3. So then we have that plus J. Then take the imaginary part. Now it is Z2. So what is our value of Z2 here? It's negative of 2. So minus 2, all right, then subtract 4, subtract 4, so minus 4, so therefore you have that, so 6 minus 3 gives you what, it gives you 3, then plus, minus 2, okay, minus 4, minus 2, minus 4 gives you negative of 6, so therefore our value here will change and becomes negative, you put our j there, then we have 6. So that is our second uh, example. Now let's check from what we say from Z1, uh, Z2 minus Z1. 
we said if you sub if you're subtracting uh, complex numbers, this can also be written as this part here can also be written as z2, alright, plus then the negative of z1, alright. Remember, when you open this bracket here, nothing changes all right, together because positive negative just gives you a negative, which bring us, uh, brings us back here. So therefore, we shall have this. So therefore, what is our Z2? Let's now rewrite uh, this. So our Z2 is given, is given by what? It's given by this. So we shall have 6 minus J2. So that is our Z2. Then we are saying all these plus the negative. Alright, you negate the values of Z1. So what is our values of Z1? Is this value or this value? So when we negate them, this one is positive, it becomes what? Negative of 3. This one is positive 4, it becomes negative of J4. Are we together? So we have that. So we negate the values of Z1. So then we shall have that. Therefore, we can now uh, add, right? We can now add the terms in the real part and also add the terms in the imaginary part. So this one gives us, so what is 6 plus minus 3? 6 plus minus 3 gives you what? It gives you 3. Then we have minus 2 plus minus 4. So which again gives us negative of j6. And you can see that both ways we get the same, same answer. So that is how you do addition and subtraction of complex numbers.